Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. I am going to my mother-in-law's today for our Thanksgiving meal. Yay. Um, what I wanted to talk about was, should you feel guilty about buying yourself stuff during the Christmas shopping season? Like Black Friday or the three days and so on and so forth when the Christmas deals come on. Um, no, you shouldn't. Um, I think a lot of people do feel guilty when they buy their stuff with, they buy themselves stuff during that time period. Don't ever feel guilty about it because if it's something you need or something that you want, then that's the perfect time to get it is when it's on sale. That is when I go, um, and get, you know, some blouses like I did yesterday at goodies. Um, you know, it was black Friday yesterday. I went to goodies. I bought six blouses. I got them in a really good deal. Um, and I, I don't feel guilty at all. Um, today I went and used my five off of 25s to get me some of the 70% off clothing at dollar general. I don't feel guilty about that. Um, now my CVS haul, most of those makeup kits will be gifted. Um, I don't know to whom. Um, my daughter really don't doesn't wear makeup like that. So, you know, I don't know whom to whom I will gift them. But you know, I don't. I don't feel guilty about buying myself stuff during the holiday season, and that's because I always wait till this time of year to do that. Um, like at Dollar General last year. Um, they had the 70% off sales and I bought myself a bunch of, of lounge clothes last year. Well, this year I went and bought more lounge clothes because I like those clothes for when I'm at home. Now I needed blouses for work. Um, my blouses or my shirts, my t-shirts and all those shirts that I wear to work all have holes in them because working on a weld machine, you know, you get the spatter and then it burns a hole in it. So all of my weld shirts have, all my work shirts have holes in them. So I bought six shirts to wear to work. This is one of them and I love it. Look at that. It has a lacy long sleeve and let me show you this part of it. I don't like the wording on it because I think it's kind of too blunt. Um, and I just don't really like worded clothing unless it's like one word, but look, it says, kind of don't care but look at the flowering see the flowers they're beautiful and it matches this hat that I got for like two bucks out of goodies back in September that went out of business um, I bought a bunch of hats and then we're going to talk about goodies in a minute but let me show you my other blouses that I got for work just because um, I don't I don't feel guilty about it because I need clothing I have to wear clothing because no one wants to see this naked. Uh, no way. Anyway, I got this one. It says sparkle love. And then it does have love on the sleeves, which is black and white. Now, I really, it's a little showy for me, but it's big, it's flouncy, it's soft, and it was fairly cheap. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. I don't know. This one was about six bucks on clearance and they really screwed up my, my receipt. And I'll tell you about that in a second, but I got this one. This one is kind of the same way. It's kind of big and flouncy and it has the gathered sleeves. I really like that. That's kind of cute. Um, and it's like a mauve. I don't know if you can see the color or not really well, but it's kind of a mauve. This new tablet. I'm sorry, guys. The picture is horrible. And, you know, I can't help that. I will get better equipment eventually because my daughter is getting more equipment. Okay. And then I got three of these. These are t-shirts. Um, they don't have a V-neck, but they do have a lower cut neck, which I absolutely love because I cannot stand to have something up on my neck. And then it has what I call the sports stripes on the sleeves. I got three of those. I got the pink one. I got the black one and I got a blue one. So those were my six blouses. They had a really good sale. It was supposed to be 
buy one, get two free. Well, the girl didn't ring up the last one of mine. She only rang up five. So my total was $31.01. Um, had she rang up the other one, um, my total might have been $12.13. Bucks. It's my luck. I'm telling you. You know, people just don't ever do things correctly around me. <laughs> or they get mad. Anyway. So I needed these blouses. And even with that, you're thinking about five five bucks a piece, five fifty a piece with my total. So that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, I went and got bunches of lounge clothes at Dollar General with my five off of twenty fives. I did buy my husband one of those Toastmaster air fryers. He's wanting an air fryer and I'm not spending over a hundred dollars on an air fryer. I'm just not gonna do it. So if this one does the trick, you know he can, he can have his air fryer for Christmas. Actually, I left it down on the table for him to see it when he gets up. So we'll see how that goes. Um, feeling guilty. Absolutely not. Do not feel guilty when you buy yourself things when they are on sale or at their cheapest price. And not only that, but the tees are summer, spring and summer clothes. And that's when they're going to be the best price. So I wear t-shirts at work. I can wear long sleeve shirts underneath those tees and you know, it is what it is. So don't feel guilty when you buy yourself something during the Christmas season. Um, I only buy for a very few people and I do gift out things that I coupon to others. Um, my girls at work are going to get some phenomenal little bags for Christmas. The ones who are my customers. I have just gotten so much from the penny items and I'm going to just plum fill their bags filled up. Um, I got such a great deal on some candles and things like that. Now today I am putting together a bag to take to my mother-in-law because that's where we're going to go for Thanksgiving meal today. Um, I really hate wearing this shirt. I really love it, but it says I kind of don't care and I don't know if it's appropriate or not, but it matches my hat and I'm going to wear it. Maybe I shouldn't, but I'm going to. <laughs> oh, I can wear my bibs over it. Hey, that's an idea. Anyway, goodies. Now I'm going to talk about goodies for a minute. I think goodies is a great place for young people. Um, if you sign for them to get a credit card, I think goodies is the perfect place, especially for young ladies, um, even young men, because they do have clothing for men. Um, and they also have things that men, boys, young guys, um, can gift out to other people. And the reason I say that is because Goodies always has really good sales. They have great clearance sales, they have great doorbuster sales, and then you get a percentage off when you use your, your card. Um, and what if there's that instance when they need a shirt, a blouse, a, um, a pair of pants, or a skirt, or a dress, or a pair of shoes? something they need quickly or, or a nice gift for somebody. They can run in, find something very, very cheap, put it on that card, and then know how much that's going to be, and then pay it off when the bill comes. Just remember to, to teach your young children or your young, young adults that they have to pay that bill off as soon as it comes in the mail. They can't just do the minimum. You know, say something was $11, they have to make sure they have that $11 to pay that bill for the next month. So goodies is a great place to start credit. Um, I do believe that young ladies and young men, that's perfect because there's always that occasion when you need a nice top or a shirt or a pair of pants or you need that little gift you need to take somewhere. And they have like really unique little gifts and they always have clearance items, always. And you're always getting coupons. I mean, for your birthday, you get a $10 gift card, a $10 um, coupon. And so there's two transactions there that if you get something for nine bucks or whatever, it's free. So always remember goodies. If you have one around and you have a young lady or a young gentleman at home and you want them to start building up some credit, it's a great place to start credit. So I need to get digging around here for my mother-in-law and I have no idea what to give her. I don't know. I don't know and the great nephew. I don't know. I'm going to make a bag up and take it to him too. 
I just, I have no idea what to do. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. Bye.